Okay, so we're going to go over the right-hand rule. Um, so I did a couple with the you know the different problems and how you can use the right-hand rule to you know uh, get the direction of a magnetic field or something like that. Um, but the right-hand rule is is fairly simple. So we have a magnetic field, and we're going to make it go in this direction. And then we have a charged particle, um, and it's moving. Let's say this direction um, for the velocity v and we want to know what the direction of the force is um, so basically what you do is you're going to lay uh, so this is the magnetic field just so we know um, and this is the direction of the particle moving through the magnetic field a charged particle. So we're going to go with a positive charged particle to begin with um, and then the force will just be in the opposite direction if it's a negative. So you basically want to lay the palm of your hand down this way. Sorry, my drawings are not that great. But uh, So we have our the palm of our hand I guess it could go like that. And this is the palm. And it faces up and then we're going to ori orientate. So the fingers are pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. So you have the magnetic field going this way and the fingers are going that way. Then we oriented our thumb so it goes in the same direction as the, um, the charged particle. And since this is a positive charged particle, um, and the palm here faces the direction of the force. Or you could curl these fingers up like I did in that video, you know, just that up at a 90 degree um, and so it the force is coming out of the page now if this were um, a negative particle the force would just be reversed so it'd be going into the page so that's the main thing that you have to worry about in this and then if we just reversed the magnetic field that our charge particle um, so we would actually have <laughs> trying to draw this, but this time our palm is facing down, so the force um, is our fingernails. I know it's kind of sad. We'll make it as an artist. Um, but the palm is facing down. Again, this is for a positive charged particle. Um, so the force is going into the page. Again, you could curve those fingers down um, and you would note that it's going into the page. Um, again, if this were a negative particle, then the force would be coming up. It's just the opposite of what it is. But always do it for a positive par uh, charge particle. And then if it's a negative, then just reverse it. Okay, so I hope that helps a little bit better.